Hello and welcome to lesson 25 in the creation of our school management system with the Jufus IT Service Academy using Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word. So in our previous lesson, we begin to design our teacher's data entry user form like this. So in this lesson, we are just going to continue and do some basic settings on this user form. All right, so let's just close this one and let's go to the design mode but please if you are new to the channel make sure that you subscribe to the channel make sure that you check the description of this video for more of our videos on how to create a school management system using microsoft excel and microsoft word all right so let's just come to this one here and then let's go to column heads let's just search for column heads so let's try to expand this one a little bit Okay, so let's search for column heads. But before we search for the column heads, let's come to the database here. Let's make sure that the database is selected. Then we go to column heads here. Then let's turn it to true. So let's change the false to true. Then the column head count. So we have 23 column heads here. We have 23 fields here. So let's indicated the 23 sorry 23 like that then let's come to column heads so we have it here now let's come to the column width here and let's do some settings there so the first one that we have there is the id so we want it to be 80 then comma then the next one is name so we want that one to be 180 then comma then the next one is gender we want the gender to be 100 then comma the next one is date of birth we want that one to be 120 then the next one is staff id let's make it 120 as well then registered number that one to 120 then comma then we move to date of first appointment let's make that one 180 then comma then select number let's make it 180 then comma then the next one that we are going to do is the designation let's make that one 200 then comma then academic qualification let's make it 180 then comma professional qualification let's make it 180 then comma the rank let's make that one 120 comma year of promotion let's make it 100 comma phone number let's make it 100 comma email address let's make it 180 then bank let's make it 100 then comma then we come to this one account number let's make it 180 like this then comma then gross salary let's make it 100 then comma net salary here let's make it uh, 100 like that then we come to hometown let's make it 180 then we come to next of kin let's make it 180 comma then we have relation let's make it 180 comma then the last one that is the contact of the next of kin so let's make it 100 so we have them there up and running so let's just try to debug this and run it and let's see how it is going to look like okay so for now nothing will appear here because we are not done with the coding aspect of this user form all right so let's just close this one then let's go to our excel sheet let's go to our excel sheet and do some settings there so let's just close this one here like this let's just close this one close this one too then let's come to this side settings 
let's just open settings here let's delete this thing okay so let's open the setting sheet here then we come to this one we are going to do some settings for uh, please let's go back so that i'll show you something here so we are going to do some settings on the user form for the teachers here so let's just go to the developer tab let me show you something before we go back to that side so let's just close this one here okay so we have to do some settings for this one here the designation the qualification academic qualification the professional qualification and then the rank so those are the four combo boxes that we are going to do some settings for inside uh, our setting sheet there so let's just close this one here like this let's just minimize it and minimize this one too as well then let's go to the settings here to do the necessary settings for that sheet to also work well okay so inside here we are just going to do the setting for designation so let's just start to name them head teacher like that then we move to the next one so let's just try to expand this one a little bit before we continue with the rest so assistant head teacher like that so assistant head teacher like that then we move to headmistress then from there we move to assistant headmistress then from there we move to sports master Then from there we move to house master. Then from there we move to class teacher. Then from there we move to ICT teacher. Then from there we move to science teacher. Then from there we move to another thing that is going to be the English teacher. Then we move to no more in school. No more in school. okay so we have that one there up and running so what we are going to do is to select all like this okay so let's redo it let's select oh so let's select all like this to this end here then we name it so the name that we are going to give to this one is what designation so let's just shorten this one so does it like this like this so after entering the name you make sure that you hit enter on your computer okay so let's just leave it let's come back and select all and see so we have the name there please keep that name in your mind because you are going to use it somewhere we are going to use it on the user form okay so let's just continue and do that same thing for the academic qualification too so let's just expand this box here let's expand it a little bit to that side the first one that we are going to write is ssc so ssce like that then we move to rc then we move to gce then we move to dbe then we move to 
GCBE. Then we move to O level like that. Then we move to A level like that. So we have that one to up and running there. So what we need to do is to select all like this. Let's select all like this. Then we come to this side to name them. So ACC academic qualification ACC. So make sure you hit enter on your computer keyboard. Then let's leave it and select it again. So when we select it again, we should be able to see the ACC that that is the name that we gave to this particular academic qualification here. So now let's quickly go and do the same thing for professional qualification too. So we start from this one here. So we start from SSC, then we move to RC, then we move to DBE, then we move to then we move to degree. Then we move to masters. Then we move to PhD. So please, you can you can add more of these professional qualifications here. So let's just select all like this. Then let's come to the top here. Then let's rename it prof. Like that, so let's just hit enter. So when we come back to select all this, we should be able to have that name popping up at the top there. Okay, so we are done with that one. Let's go to the rank. Let's go to the rank and let's do the same thing for the rank too. So let's just try to expand this one a little bit. Then we come to the rank here. So the first one that we are going to enter is what teacher. So the first rank is teacher. Then we move to the next one that is going to be soup one. Soup one, like this. Then we are moving to the next one that is going to be senior soup. Sorry, that is going to be soup two. That is going to be soup two, like this. Then we move to the next one. That is going to be senior soup two like this. So soup two. So let's make sure that we do everything well here. So senior soup two prof. The prof there simply stands for professional. So we move to senior soup one here. Senior soup one. So let's just yes. So we have that one. Let's just edit that one to suit whatever we are searching for. So we move to principal superintendent. So principal principal soup. Okay. So we have that one there. Then we move to assistant director. So assistant director. Then this should be assistant director two, like that. Then we move to assistant director one, like that. Then we move to the next one that is going to be the deputy director. So deputy director like that then we move to the next one that is going to be the director general so that one is the overall box the overall box so director general like that so we have them up and running there so let's just select all like this then we come to this side to name them so we are going to name this one rank like this so let's just hit enter so when we come back to that team when we select the whole thing like that we should be able to get the rank popping up at the top there all right so let's quickly go back to our user form 
let's just go back to the user form so let's search let's scroll to the teachers detail table here then let's go to the developer tab here let's come to the visual basic here uh let's come to this side here let's see if we can locate our uh okay so let's just expand this good so we have our user form there now let's come to this side here let's select this the name that we give to this one is what designation so let's just right click and then we click on properties so let's come to the row source make sure that this one is selected so let's go to the row source here so the name that we give to that one was what Desig like this so let's just hit enter okay so let's come to this one too let's just click that one too then the name that we give to that one was a c c so a c c like this let's hit enter then let's come to this one let's come to this one make sure that it is selected then let's go to the row source then the name that we give to that one was prof so p r o f like this so let's just hit enter then let's come to the last one here the name we give to that one was rank so let's just hit enter like that so let's run this form and let's see whether those things will appear or not okay so let's click on this one here we have them there up and running we have the head teacher the assistant head teacher we have the assistant headmistress, the headmistress, the sports masters, and everything popping up there. Okay, so let's just try to check the other ones too. So we have them here. And let's come to this one too. We have them here. So you can just select one of them. So let's just select this here. Select this. Let's come to this one too. Select this one. Let's come to this side to select one of these. So basically we are done with that one too so we would like to end this video here and continue in the next lesson so please make sure that you subscribe to the channel make sure that you turn on the notification button for all as you wait for more videos on how to create a school management system using microsoft excel and microsoft word so please don't forget to save your work and don't forget to uh, check the description of this video for more of our videos on how to create a school management system using Microsoft Excel and Word, don't forget to check the description for our WhatsApp group link. Don't forget to check the description for our WhatsApp channel link and our contact information as well. So thank you very much for watching this video. Let's meet in our next lesson. Bye-bye.